And our project uh, actually starts with a question that is very, it has something to do with the project that is presented before, which is how do we care for something that we can't understand, that can communicate with us, that can preach me and say, well, I need this and I need that. Well, often we don't. So while we get busy living, <coughs> our plants get busy dying. And while most of us will think that these guys don't matter, they actually translate into a billion dollar market. So I will apologize to my ecology teacher because she was right and plants do matter. Uh, at this moment. And so we got to the conclusion that yes, we do have a problem. And because we are scientists, we, we don't want to have problems, we want to have solutions. And so by the end of the week, we got what is taxes. Really? Okay, it's just me. <laughs> what, what we got grower. What is grower? Grower is a self-watering place that functions based on your plant's needs, not time. So when a plant needs more water, our, our container will actually deplete just the right amount of water in the right amount of time. And it will actually also warn you how, to how and when to change your plant's soil. We weren't able to discover how to do it automatically in a week, but give us another one and we might try to do it. And Grover also does something that scientists find absolutely amazing, which is data collecting. But although we find it amazing, general users don't. And this should be about data, it should be about you. So we transformed Grower into a full experience. How? <laughs> oh, okay. Not at time. So I think that that's what yes. So we built a service around it. How does it work? You buy your place and install it in your home, you get happy, you watch your place thrive. Meanwhile, the place has built-in sensors that will collect data and the data is sent to our cloud. The data also pertains to uh, your plant's base needs, but also the environment in your home. What you do next is you go into our app and you fill in a couple of questions just so we know what plants you like the most. What are your preferences? What you do next is merge the data from your preference to the data that you need and give you every month a subscription box with a specialized product, project, product, uh, product that you can use on your place. And also we are able to give you uh, recommendations on seeds on the plants that you want to do next and we can actually send them to you in the month that is most appropriate for you to plant them. And so we want to reach our plant loving customer, the green thumb is no longer, no longer required, to uh, through the internet everyone's best best friend. But we, as you can see we are the kind of people that are ambitious and we like we are we are ambitious and we like to have our cake and eat it too. But we have to pick the first slice. The first slice will be the USA. Why? Because their houseplant market is huge and also because they love the internet and we really like that. And nowadays when you talk about the internet there's a magic word that comes up which is crowdfunding. And crowdfunding actually works perfectly with Grower because it needs a sense of community and a sense of integration that is vital to our product success. It also uh, makes it personal because you can watch the product grow and as you might be able to see by now Personalization is kind of our thing. But as, as every magic, crowdfunding has a trick behind. And the trick is that you have to be present online before. You can't go crowdfunding if no one knows who you are. And so we have to strengthen our presence in every social media, so <coughs> just fill every feed that you get on the internet with bases and points, and just be overall. That's what, where we want to get. But there are answers out there. They're just not as good as ours. Our main competitor would be Plenty, which is also a self-watering place, Although it is not as autonomous because it requires you to do a click on an app for your plant to get water, and it has lower reservoir capacity, actually half as ours, and the price might not be what you want to pay for this. This week, we also have uh, another kind of sensors that are much more specialized, and that will provide you with a bunch pages long data, and most of it you won't know what to do with it. So this is what's out there right now. So. Yes, of course, people thought about this problem, they just didn't think about it as good as we did. But why us? Our team is comprised of four biologists with very uh, varying and complementing backgrounds. So yes, these uh, complicated, half-fancy words actually do have applications. And also, we have a product designer to help us get the solution to you in the most intuitive way possible. What are we going to do next? We need to complete the team. Get our engineers that we've been outsourcing this week uh, and further develop the prototype. Get to online marketing, get our client, get plant the seed in their minds that they want this product. Establish passionate partnerships with all the providers for our service 
And then we got on Kickstarter. And we watched Go Around the World. Thank you for your time.